राधे राधे एवरी वन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू कपल ऑफ पावर बी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विच आर सीनेरियो बेस्ड एंड वर रिसेंटली आस्ट इन द डेटा एनलिस्ट इंटरव्यू फॉर द पावर बी रोल एट एक्सेंचर दीज क्वेश्चन वर प्रोवाइडेड बाय वन ऑफ माई लिंक इन कनेक्शन सो थॉट ऑफ क्रिएटिंग अ वीडियो ऑन दिस बिकॉज इट कैन बी इजली आज इन योर अपकमिंग इंटरव्यूज टू बिकॉज दीज आर रियल टाइम यूज केसेस ऑल राइट लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो एंड बिफोर दैट प्लीज डू हिट द लाइक बटन ऑफ दिस वीडियो इट रियली मोटिवेट्स मी टू ब्रिंग मोर यूजफुल वीडियोज फॉर यू ऑल सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू न्यू टू इट एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो फॉलो मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम लर्न विथ गिग्स All right. You can see on the screen, I have two tables. So basically, the interviewer provided two tables. One is the vendor table, which is this one, and the second one is the sales table. So vendor table has couple of columns where you have date column, month column, vendor ID, as well as status. And you have sales table where you have date, month, vendor ID, product, sub product, as well as the total sales. So the ask from the interviewer is that you can see both of these two tables have vendor ID in common. even date column is also present in both of these two tables but with the help of both of these columns you can only create many to many relationship you can see you have couple of vendor ids over here which are repetitive even in the vendor id column in the vendor table you will see items getting repeated so we will be finding many to many relationships so the interviewer said clearly that you don't have to create any relationship between these two tables forget about the relationship what you have to create is you need to work on three things one is you need to calculate the total active vendors secondly you need to calculate total active vendors with sales means who has done sales and at the last you need to calculate percentage of active vendors contributing to sales so you can see it is asking to calculate total active vendors so let's go to power bi and see we have the status column if i go to the data view tab and in the vendor table itself you have status column so you have active you have non active okay couple of active and non active so we need to calculate the total vendors total distinct vendors who have status as active so for that we will create a measure so this is the first task so total active members so this will be equal to calculate the count so many of you will be thinking to cal use count function to count the total members who are active but instead you need to use make use of distinct count because the vendor ids are repetitive so we need to calculate them which are distinctive so for that distinct count of vendor id so vendor id i will take it from vendor table okay so this will give me the distinct count now the filter should be what filter should be for that i will make use of filter function and it takes two arguments one is table so my table will be vendor table okay second one will be my filter expression will be status right so vendor status equal to active so i will close the bracket for filter and calculate so pretty much straight forward we need to calculate this thing the second one is very tricky because we don't have any relationship and that's where that question was asked total active vendors with sales okay so we'll go with that one first let's see what does this value comes out to be so i'll just pull this total active members in a card so we have total 8 active members which we can also verify from here so total you will find uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 9 and 10 so total 8 active members are there and that's why it has given the value as 8 let's move on to the second part which is to create another measure so for that i will create a measure and here i will make it as total active members with sales now this part is also very important to understand how we will calculate the sales of the vendors even though both the tables are not connected in that case let's see what we will do we will first make use of calculate function again distinct count of what of vendor ids because we need to calculate based on vendor id so done that then again i will make use of filter then again i will make use of vendor table and make use of another status column okay vendor status equal to active because we need to calculate the ones who are active and they have made sales so that's why using this filter part also here and then now i will make use of treat as function so why we are making use of treat as function let me show you so if you'll see or here treat as function what it does it applies the result of a table expression as filters to columns from an unrelated table this is very important so our in our case 
the tables are unrelated. So this function will be very much useful and it takes two arguments. One is the table expression and the second one is the column. So table expression will be passed as filters to the next column argument. Okay. So what will be our table expression? Let's give that. So for that, I will make use of values function. So values will actually give me the distinct values present in where present in sales vendor ID column close the bracket of values. So from here, I will get all the unique vendor IDs from sales table comma our column column argument, which we will give as what vendor ID again. So closing the bracket of treat as and then calculate. So what we have done, we are passing this as filter to this particular column of vendor table so that we can get the common values out of it even when the tables are not connected and let's see what does this value comes out to be. I will pull this measure over here and you are seeing total active members with sales is 4. Active members for 8, active members with sales is 4. So let's verify that. So if you will come over here, this is our sales table and in this we have IDs as 1, 2, 7, 4, 6. 1, 2, 7, 4, 6. And if you will compare it with vendor ID, vendor uh, table and here we have 1, 2, 4, 6. So these four are active, seven is non-active. So that's why we are getting the right result, which is total active members with sales is four. Now the third ask was what? The third ask was to calculate the percentage of active members contributing to sales. So for that, we'll create another measure and we will name it as percentage. And here we'll make use of divide function because our numerator is what? Our numerator is total active members, no total active members with sales, comma, our denominator will be what? Total active members with sales divided by total active members. And let us see if this gives us the right result or not because actually we should get we should get 50%. Right. So I will convert this into percentage and let's see if we are getting the right result or not over here. And you can clearly see our result is correct. 50% 4 divided by 8 is 50%. So this is what was expected from the candidate by the interviewer. I hope you understood. Please do leave a comment if you found this video useful. Share this among your network and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Thank you.